Hello everyone. I am Tamunas Jana, Assistant Professor in the Department of Mechanical Engineering of Mollohum Institute of Technology. Today I am going to present on pin on disc tribometer. So let us get started. First, what is a tribo tester or tribometer? The word tribo originates from the Greek word tribos which means rubbing. Therefore, tribo test signifies a test related to rubbing of surfaces. To be more specific, tribo tester is an apparatus to test the friction and wear behavior between two interacting surfaces with relative sliding. Uh, there are different types of tribometer such as pin on disc type, reciprocating type, four ball tester, fretting tester, wheel abrasion tester, etc. Among all of these tribo testers, the most common and popular type of tribometer uh, is the pin on disc type. Now, the question is what are the advantages of the pin on disc type tribo tester that make it most popular type of tribo tester. First, the simplicity of its construction as well as its working methods. Next, uh, a wide range of tribological pairs can be easily tested in this type of tribo tester, that is its versatility. Next, uh, versatility in interfacial motion, that is the test allows to test uh, I mean the apparatus allows to test several motion modes such as uh, let us say simple rotational, reverse rotational, fretting mode and recently many more other complex motions patterns have been enabled in this type of testing. And the next is operating condition can be widely varied, be it extremely high or low temperature, be it lubricated condition, be it extremely corrosive environment and so on. Uh, this figure shows the schematic diagram of the uh, pin on disc tribo tester. As we can see, uh, there is a pin on which the vertical load is applied and below this pin, uh, the disc is touching the pin, end of the pin and which rotates and creates the wear track, circular wear track. Now, the component of a typical tribo tester, these are the components. As we can see, uh, here this is the main component of the tribo tester, where this is the uh, main chamber, where the uh, this inside this chamber there is the pin and the disc, and this chamber is closed because of creating an environment. For example, here the pump pumps uh, the lubricant so that it can test in lubricated condition okay and this part is the monitor and controller the resulting wear and friction data are automatically generated and stored in this computer okay and here we can see uh, a simulation model of this uh, pin on disk tribo testing method as we can see the pin is moving in a rotational motion on the on the disc actually in actual case the reverse happens here just for simulation purpose the reverse is shown here the uh, in actual case the most of the cases obviously the pin remains fixed and the disc rotates as we can see there uh, wear track has been created on the disc and which is clearly visible now, this uh, slide shows a typical friction data that is recorded on a pin on disc apparatus. Okay. So, as we can see this uh, fig in this figure, the initial part of the data is much more unstable than the later part of the data. This behavior is attributed to as running in phenomenon. During this running in, the surface topography changes chemical reactions take place until the system comes to a 
steady state by here. The steady state coefficient of friction is usually usually the average value of this steady state coefficient of friction is usually reported. Now important factors that affect the testing procedure. First is pin shape. Typically the pin shape can be of any shape. However, mostly spherical and cylindrical shapes are used. And the next is pin alignment. If the pin is flat ended, the alignment should be ensured since uh, otherwise non-uniform loadings uh, can occur resulting in non-uniform wear and possibly uh, overloaded condition and wrong frictional data. The edges of the flat specimens uh, should not be sharp otherwise chipping may occur at the interface. Next is counter surface material. It should be noted that typically the tribological behavior of the same material is different depending on which, mate which material is used uh, as the counter surface which is coming in contact. And the next one is operating condition. Different operating conditions like temperature, humidity, etc. can influence the results largely. Therefore, significant care must be taken for controlling these factors. Now, let us come to uh, post testing analysis. After the tribo testing is done in the tester, several analysis are needed to carry out uh, to obtain the complete picture. First, VR profiles are analyzed using uh, inline imaging systems such as optical profilometers, atomic force microscope or AFM, uh, scanning electron microscope or ACM, etc. Sometimes, uh, VR interaction altered the physical and chemical composition of the surface, which is analyzed by energy dispersive X-ray analysis or EDUX or X-ray diffraction method or XRD, etc. These results are correlated with the friction and wear data and finally, the final conclusions are drawn. To conclude, uh, despite being one of the earliest friction wear measuring method, this testing procedure is making significant continuous advancements, advancement uh, from introducing advanced precision sensors to addition of capability of wear debris analysis and so on. Hence, therefore, it, it still remains the most preferred type of testing apparatus out of many. Thank you.